tis the season to be thankful. So, this Christmas morning, are you counting your blessings? Or are you counting how many mimosas Nana's putting away? We know we should feel grateful, and, and we do have meaningful moments of acute gratitude, like when we see a child's eyes light up at the wonder of a sparkly tree, or when you manage to avoid Hansy Dan from accounting at this year's office party. But during the holidays, it's easy to forget to be grateful. We've been dealing with in-laws in Christmas sweaters, secret Santa extortion funds, Hanukkah lists, and the exhausting battle of trying to resist sugar cookies. Man, there's nothing like biting the head off an angel. And when the dark, cold gloom of January descends and street corner Santas put away their bells and the stores aren't pumping out holiday songs, it's really easy to forget to be grateful. Somehow, gratitude becomes a platitude. But here's a fantastic reason to make gratitude an attitude. Science is proving that being thankful has profound physiological and emotional benefits. One study asked people to keep a journal for 10 weeks. One group described five things they were grateful for each week. One group wrote down their hassles, and a third group was told to list five things that affected them, but not to dwell on the positive or negative. The gratitude group emerged from the study 25% happier than the others. They were in better health and averaged an hour and a half more exercise than the griping group. And appreciation is contagious. Their spouses notice their happiness too. Or maybe their spouses just notice how cute their grateful behinds were getting from all those workouts. Thankfulness is also an antidepressant. According to another psychological study, clinically depressed people demonstrate about 50% less gratitude than folks who are feeling okay. A uh, thank you a day may keep the Prozac away. This isn't rainbows and unicorns, and I am super thankful for rainbows and unicorns. This is neuroscience. Perhaps it is a scientist who captures the spirit of gratitude the best. Einstein said, there are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. In this holiday season and beyond, let's recognize the miracles. And yes, the fact that your husband installed the Christmas lights without electrocuting himself qualifies as a miracle. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a grateful New Year.